Today I'll be showing you a new custom launcher that's available for Android that as of right now is completely free and open source. This launcher that you see here is called Omega Launcher and it's actually a fork of another popular launcher called Launcher. Now the original team behind Launcher Launcher was abandoned a while ago for some reasons that I will not be going into in this video. But earlier this year it was revived by a new team of about seven developers. The new release really received a bunch of new features and work began on updating it to AOSP Launcher 3. But since then a developer who goes by the handle OTA KUHQZ has recently released a fork of this popular custom launcher and it's available to install right now. I'm going to be including a download link in the video description below for anybody who wants to download this custom launcher and give it a try. If you were a fan of Launcher Launcher, then you are probably going to feel right at home with Omega Launcher. So when you first install the application and access the Omega Launcher home screen, it's likely going to look like this, just a single page with a search bar at the bottom that's already set to DuckDuckGo. And like with most launchers, we can long press on an empty spot of the home screen to go into the settings area to get an idea of what type of features are available in Omega Launcher. So right off the bat, we have a way to customize the home screen or the desktop by changing the grid size, icon size, hiding icon labels, changing the text size, selecting the pop-up menu items, allowing home screen rotation, hiding the status bar while on the home screen, allowing overlaps, allowing empty pages, and even locking the desktop. We also have some customization features specifically for the dock, such as hiding the dock, showing the background on the dock, changing the background color, showing the search bar, changing the icon count, and more. Our app drawer customization options include icon size settings, being able to hide the app names, changing the columns, the row height, whether or not you want app suggestions, even categories. Omega Launcher does support themes, so we can change the color the icon packs, and the shape. We have the ability to change search providers. We have a long list right here to choose from. We can show a voice search button and allow the assistant to be opened instead of voice search. We have a section for home widgets, home screen widgets, such as, such as smart space, time, date, large clock, weather, we can change our weather source. And we have some customization options for gestures as well as notifications. We can have notification dots. And gestures like double tap, tap and hold, the home button tap, the back button tap, swipe down, swipe up. 
There are even a couple of additional features in the advanced section for showing the settings search, changing the language, and creating backups. You can restart the launcher from here. And even access developer options for the app itself. This is not developer options of Android. This is the developer options for the Omega launcher itself. So again, if you are familiar with Launcher Launcher, then you may want to give Omega Launcher a try. A couple of the standout features of Omega Launcher is the ability to protect apps using either a security pin or biometric authentication. And just as shown, you can even change the default search engine with a number of different options. So that is the brief overview of the Omega Launcher application. You can download it through GitHub through F-Droid. Again, I'll be including these links in the video description below. But for anybody looking for a new custom launcher for Android, definitely give Omega Launcher a try.